we're there. Okay. Let me get my sheet. Welcome, everybody. Happy Halloween. Yes, happy Halloween. Okay, I'm set up. So, it's Halloween and it's a full moon today. Yes. yes. And it's a blue moon. So exciting, yeah. which means it's the second full moon in one month. That's right. So let's, let's start walking while we talk about the moon. Um, and I heard that the last time October had a blue moon was 1944. Wow. Yes, yeah, so it is once in a blue moon. <laughs> Okay, so today we're just gonna do a lot of stretching. So let's get a little bit of a wide stance going. Raise your left arm and stretch your side. And you're really going for a nice long line from the tip of your fingers all the way down to the bottom of your heel on that side. Good, let's do the other side. Reaching long, feeling one line from the tip of your fingers all the way down to your heel. Breathing into it. It's an active stretch, which means uh, you keep going, you keep trying to progress the stretch. You never let it get to a static position. But keep reaching a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further. Good, let's do the other side again. It helps if you really ground your heel, uh, in this case, your left heel into the ground and feel that foot is relaxing and widening into the ground. Should feel a stretch through the psoas, maybe the lats. Good, let's release that and one more time. Rounding through that right heel, widening the foot, relaxing the ankle. Letting this arm, the one that's not stretched, just let that arm hang. And come back to center. Just take a deep breath here, ready, inhale. Exhale, again, just letting your lungs expand. It helps if you raise your arms a little bit. Nice wide lungs and exhale. One more time and inhale. And exhale. Great, let's bring your feet together. So you're gonna bring your feet about hip width apart. You're gonna interlace your fingers whichever way is natural for you. Then you're gonna turn it over and go for, for you wherever there feels like the right amount of stretch. It shouldn't be forced, but you should definitely feel some stretch. Maybe your elbows get straight, maybe they don't, depending on your body. And then raise your arms and palms until they're just about in front of your chin. That's good. Again, find where that stretch is for you. Straighten a little bit if it feels okay to do so. And try to go up above your head now, just a little bit. Good, getting used to that position. And a little bit further. 
and go and make it an active stretch going as far as you can. Maybe you can make it straight up overhead or maybe not. Just the right amount for this morning. And let it come back down. And shake your arms and hands out. Now you're gonna interlace your fingers the opposite direction of natural. <laughs> so for me, I like to have my, my right finger on top. So I'm gonna switch and put my left finger on top. You try whichever way feels just wrong for you. <laughs> and we'll do it again. Gentle stretching through the fingers and wrists. Raising up to be just in line with the chin. Challenging yourself a bit. Should be some effort, some breath above your head. A little bit more and go as high as you can without making your whole body shake. Good, and bring it down. Shake your fingers and arms out. Let's just take a few knee bends. Knee bend and up. Waking up the body, let's go a little faster. And now a little faster still until it becomes more of a bounce. Let your arms swing where they wanna go. A little bit faster, double time. <laughs> okay, and faster still, uh, and stop. Feel the stillness, just stand here. Feel the residual motion in your body. Okay, good, now we're gonna roll over. So from the top of the head, grow tall, and then we're gonna roll down and Again, part of this practice is figuring out where is the right amount of stretch for you. Challenging, but not painful. If you can, uh, hang your head over. If you can do that with your legs, uh, straight, that's fine. If not, you can try with your, your knees a bit and just let your neck relax into gravity. Keep going, I'm just gonna have a look. Yeah, that looks good everybody. You can have a little sway left to right with your torso, that can help you relax your neck and your back muscles. Nice, Helen, that looks great. If you start to get dizzy or lightheaded, of course, it's a good time to come up. And bend your knees and roll on up. We're gonna roll down again right away. Only halfway as far as you went last time. And then when you get to halfway, start rolling back up.
use this opportunity to find a nice upright in your neck and a quarter of the way and back up. Balanced, just so, bones on top of bones and an eighth. And back up. And just a little bit, 16th. And back up. Okay, good, everybody. Let's shake out our legs and our arms, the whole body. All right. It's time for meditation, so get yourself set up. And as you're getting set up, uh, I have a story to tell. Mm -hmm. And it's a story in honor of the confluence of all the moon events that are happening. Um, if you've heard any Zen stories at all, you've heard this one before. So I hope my telling does it justice. So the story goes like this. Once upon a time, there was a monk and he was off by himself, meditating in a hut as you do when you're a monk. And uh, just a monk in a, in a hut at the base of a mountain, very simple life. And one day he decided to just go for a walk in the evening. And sure enough, when he was gone, there was a thief that came into his hut looking for some stuff to steal. And uh, the thief looked around and was getting frustrated because there's nothing to steal in a monk's hut. I don't know what kind of thief this is, but uh, not a very smart one. And so then, of course, the monk comes back and he finds the thief there and startles the thief. And the thief uh, gets a panicked look in his face and the monk says, it's okay, calm down. You've come a long way. I'd hate for you to go home empty handed. And the monk takes off all his clothes and he hands the thief all his clothes and says, well, why don't you be on your way? And the, the thief runs off and the monk sits down naked in his hut and looks at the moon. And he says, poor fellow, if only I could give him this moon. So that's that's our uh, that's our Halloween story, how Zen Halloween story for today. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna do a bit of a moon meditation to go along with it. So let's find our positions, close your eyes. Breathe. And let's imagine the moon in our mind's eye. Warm, it's a warm night and the light of the moon illuminating the trees. It's a very large moon, full of blue tinge to it. Imagine this light just feels, fills your body. And as it does so, the fibers of your muscles relax and you settle more and more into your chair.
work question. Easy breathing. Imagining that moonlit night and how still it is. How there's a kind of fullness to the stillness. It's very satisfying. I can understand why sages have used the moon as a symbol of enlightenment. It has many qualities that remind me of what enlightenment must be like, what enlightenment is like for everyone. So it starts with light and light is the ability to feel what's going on right now. The very thing that's happening now, go to that experience. feeling of your hands touching something or the sound of the dishwasher or whatever immediate presence is there for you. Recognize and appreciate that presence. This immediate sensing and feeling is what is meant by enlightenment. That's all, it's very simple. This thing going on right now that all of us have access to, not just monks and huts giving their clothes away. And sometimes there's a lot of light. Like you can see very clearly all the things that are happening around you and the immediate things are the most important. And that's when the moon is full. And it waxes and wanes. And we get involved in our games in our head and worry. and we forget the simple things and that's natural. Just like the moon, it comes and it goes. 
the light of the moon comes and goes throughout the month. or throughout the day, or throughout even the meditation. The moon doesn't try to hold on to its fullness. Imagine that moon again, and imagine it filling up your body. There's a little moon inside your body. And it, it extends beyond the boundaries of your skin. It's the essence of peace. There's a little bit of mystery to it. Lots of beauty. So there is this light of the moon. There is this light of consciousness. This obvious yet often overlooked being here. And when we're lucky enough to be in a space of a full moon, we get to see that just the being here is full of meaning. Just the being here is complete, round. Allow all your muscles to completely relax into the warm bath of this moonlight. Your body is so attuned and accepting of this light that any thoughts that come just sort of fall. They have no place to attach. They just sort of come and then immediately fall out of your consciousness.
And even in the short amount of time from when I was speaking last and now, you maybe have gone through a full moon cycle. Some thoughts came in, it wasn't quite as clear. And you found yourself back to your body, back to the importance and the wonder of the present moment, the present sensation. And now you can imagine the moon rays going through your body. And as they go through, your body releases and relaxes, not just the muscles, but also the internal emotional state. Any residual anxiety or irritation is bathed in this moonlight and transformed. Into just this thing, just this feeling, just this moment. The moon moves slowly across the sky. We mimic its stately pace with our breath. Okay, so it's kind of time to come back into the daylight. Say goodbye to the moon. See you later tonight, moon. Let's take three inhales and exhales. Ready, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale, 
and exit. Wiggle your fingers and toes. And open your eyes. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this Saturday. Such a nice group today. And uh, please go enjoy the moon tonight. I think it's going to be quite the thing. So um, there's no make a difference today. No make a difference. Okay. <laughs> no make a difference today. Happy All right. Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. And uh, hang out and chat if you'd like. We'll see you on Monday. Bye -bye. Have a great Halloween. <laughs>